Welcome to this quick start video about using FullSync uh, offline data in your projects. So FullSync is the uh, technology enabling uh, mobile applications to handle offline data. So you can modify and download data locally on the device, then uh, just synchronize this data with the backend server. So to use FullSync technology, um, you will need some additional software to be installed uh, along the studio. So uh, full sync technology works using the CouchDB uh, technology, and so you have to install along your studio a CouchDB server. So to do this, you can go to the CouchDB website, and you can download one of the three CouchDB packages. So Windows, macOS, and Ubuntu packages are available with CouchDB. So just download the uh, Windows package, uh, and this is what we did here, and then you will be able to um, uh, use your uh, uh, CouchDB server. Install the package, and then you will be able to run the CouchDB uh, server. So to run it, you can uh, use one of these commands. Uh, so you can run the CouchDB. When you install CouchDB, it will end up in a directory like this one. On my machine, here it is, and you'll find the CouchDB bin directory. If you want to start CouchDB, you just have to double, double click on the CouchDB.bat, or of course running on the command line. So I'm running CouchDB here, and here it is. So you see that CouchDB is running, and it's listening on this port, 5984. This is the port that is CouchDB is using. Okay, so we'll now configure the studio to uh, access this port. Preferences, Convertigo, Engine, and then you can use the full sync directory here, and you will have to configure the CouchDB URL. So as my server is running on the same machine as my um, as the same machine as my studio, I have to use HTTP 170.0.1.5904. This is the address of the CouchDB server. By default, when you install a CouchDB server, it will be having anonymous access. So you don't have to fill in these two uh, fields. Of course, if you change your CouchDB server uh, credentials, you will have to configure these CouchDB credentials here. So this is essentially what you have to do in your studio for setup. Now, on the Convertigo server part, again, you will need a CouchDB server to be installed, and you will ha have that your CouchDB server has to be accessible from the Convertigo servers, okay? But we are now in the mobile space, on mobile development space, and then that's the only thing we have to configure in our studio here now. So to test a, our uh, installation, we can try a new project, and we will find a new project, and we are going to look at a Convertigo samples and Convertigo projects, and we're going to have a mobile project here, and we're going to call this uh, Full Sync uh, Startup. So this is the way you can start your project as any other Convertigo projects. And now we have our project created. Uh, we are going to use a new connector, this project. We call this connector, and this will be a full sync connector, as you see here. We can give a name of to the connector. This name is very important because this is the name that will uh, be the referential for the database that will be synchronized between the server and the mobile. So by default, the name is the name of your project with underscore full sync. You can of course change the name, but by default we're going to give the same name here. So this is done and we're going to create the project and connector. Good. As you see now, we have into my the database a full sync project here with at least one transaction inside, and this transaction is called get server info. This is just a demo transaction that we can run to see if we are connected and if everything is okay for connecting to our CouchDB server. So we're going to execute, and the data returned shows that we are 
indeed connected to a Apache software foundation uh, there and the CouchDB server we're going to use is 161 okay so this is the validation that your uh, studio and CouchDB are correctly configured and you can start to develop your first projects thank you very much for attending this demo about how to install the environment of your uh, full sync environment